we have seen examples in which the base of the logarithm is 10 or sometimes it's e. Log to the base e is also written as ln or the natural logarithm. Why is it called the natural logarithm? We will see that in another video but for now you should know that these two are the most commonly used bases in logarithms. Base 10 and base e. And most of the scientific or the financial calculators have one or both of these two logarithms. So what would we do if we are asked to find the value of log 8 to the base 3 using a calculator? We can't find this value, right? That's where the change of base formula comes into the picture. The change of base formula states that log of a to the base b can be written as log of a to the base x over log of b to the base x. Log of a to any base x over log of b to that same base x. The bases in the numerator and the denominator should be the same. Of course, the normal conditions about the base and the argument will still exist. The base, or in this case x, will be greater than 0 and x will not be equal to 1. And the arguments a and b will be greater than 0. This is the change of base formula. Quite easy to remember actually. The argument becomes the numerator, the base becomes the denominator and the bases here will be the same and can be anything. Coming back to our question, how do we find the value of log of 8 to the base 3? Because the calculator can't really help us with this, we can write it as log of 8 to the base e over log of 3 to the base e. The argument was written in the numerator, the base in the denominator and the common base was chosen as e. The calculator can give us these two values. Here's a scientific calculator. We can see that we are given the natural log and the log to the base 10 buttons. We are interested in the natural log here. The numerator is the natural log of 8. The natural log of 8 approximately gives us 2.0794. So we write 2.0794 in the numerator. In the denominator, we have the natural log of 3. That will approximately give us 1.0986. We write this in the denominator. And this value can be easily calculated using the calculator. 2.0794 over 1.0986 will give us 1.8928 approximately. That's one of the ways in which change of base helps us. Some calculators also give us the value of log to the base 10. So this can also be written as log of 8 to the base 10 over log of 3 to the base 10. Let's see what this gives us. Log to the base 10 can also be written as log. Log implies log to the base 10. Log of 8 gives us this. Approximately 0 0.9031. Now we move on to the denominator. Log of 3 will give us this. 0 0.4771. What do you think this value should be equal to? 0 0.9031 divided by 0 0.4771 gives us this. 1.8928 approximately. It's the same value and it has to be the same value. The log of a to the base 3 has just one value. And it's this, doesn't matter how we calculate it. That was the change of base formula. And with this formula, there's one other minor property we can derive. We know this formula. Now if we divide the numerator and the denominator by log of a to the base x, we get this. Look at the denominator now. What will this be equal to? Using the change of base formula again, it will equal log of b to the base a. It will equal this. We get log of a to the base b equal to 1 over log b to the base a. And multiplying both sides with log of b to the base a will result in this. Log of a to the base b multiplied by log of b to the base a will equal 1.